Hey guys, Tony Tom Logan here with an early preview for you of the Aorus Z790 Pro X or the Z790 Aorus Pro X. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, the reason why I say early is because uh, there are still certain things I'm not allowed to say. Uh, so there are certain things covered up around the box. We're going to play a little game is how many things you can notice I have covered up and then in the comments underneath we're going to put how many you spotted and it's just going to become a little game and i will tell you whether you're right or not now first things first when we look at the board sorry look at the box is there's no sign of the word gigabyte anywhere and i'm a little perplexed i've been trying to give you some hints uh to uh how many numbers that's not all of them um, but anyway, there's no sign of the word gigabyte anywhere. It is just Aorus. I mean, are they... Ha <laughs> ha I tell a fib. There it is, hidden over here underneath the um, serial number and stuff. Uh, but anyway, round the back of the box. 18 plus 1 plus 2 phages, digital VRM, and then they're saying the v uh, VRM thermal armour advanced. Uh, I'm not sure what that means. DIY friendly design. I will say I have already looked at this because I've had to take photos and the M.2 stuff is on point. Uh, normally, and I'll say it nice and early, normally Gigabyte are copying Asus, but this thing that they've got for the M.2 is class leading. It's better than any of the other boards, just any of them. Uh, Wi-Fi 7 with ultra high gain antenna. I'll show you that when we get inside. Because uh, it is actually rather lovely and the magnet's quite strong as well. Ultra durable PCI Express. Uh, now I'll show you around the back of that because it's actually got a really tasty support. Now if you haven't already cottoned on why this is the first of the Z790 refresh boards. Um, it's for later than 13th gen. I'm not allowed to say the other word. 13th gen. 1.3. Later than that. Um, <laughs> anyway, later than 13th gen. I can already hear the phone ringing. Um, you can see why I wanted to do this one first, and that is because it's their first proper whiteboard. Uh, I'm going to show you some of the specs down here. Now, there's a lot of stuff that I'm not allowed to say, but there's also stuff that I can kind of show you without saying. Um, but anyway, it's got 5GB LAN on it, Wi-Fi 7, which again, is quite cool. It's the first time I've seen that. It's the first board I've had in my hand so far with uh, Wi-Fi 7. Um, it's, it's a DDR5 board, but I believe I believe there might still be some from someone uh, DDR4 boards. Um, then we've got lots of USBs around here, though I am going to be doing uh, another video. You're going to need to make sure you keep an eye on the channel of the Master X. And this is absolutely ram-packed with USBs and stuff. Anyway, we're going to go old school, uh, and that is because we're, we're, we're all hardware enthusiasts getting excited about a new launch. Even if we don't want to buy it, it's nice to see what's going to be available on the market. Uh, this is the antenna. Uh, it looks simple, but because of uh, all the little kind of fins in it, I kind of like it as well. Now, there's a magnet on the bottom. Now, that magnet on the bottom will hold it on the back of a case outright, or you can obviously have it... Uh, pointing upwards if you want depending on you know whether you want to hide it or not but I like the fact they've actually bothered to try and make it white in case you've got a white case now at this point I am going to grab the motherboard stand which I've taken the branding off the bottom of it got uh, gigabyte have never given me a branded gigabyte stand so I have to use covered up other brands now, when it comes to in the box, I've obviously been in there, but there's not a great deal in the bottom. You get a couple of thermal probes. You get a, a couple of SATA cables. You get an addressable RGB. Is it addressable? No, it's four pin, but you can use it for both. You get an RGB extension cable, and then you get... Uh, uh, this is a microphone that you can plug in so that you can use the microphone to tune your fans for noise. Um, not something I would be fitting in my case, but heck, if you want it at home, that is your rig to be playing with. So, the uh, Aorus Z790 Aorus Pro X. 
uh, white, cream, silver, lots of aluminium. Uh, there's a fair bit going on. Now, one of the things I do like to do when I do these videos, because it does make people wonder how I magically do it. Now, I'm not allowed to power it up. I'm absolutely point blank not allowed to uh, show you it running with any processors in. But I can do my magic trick and show you where the RGB is. And that's it, that's where it is. There's no other points on the board uh, that are actually embedded on the board at all. You do have RGB headers, but this is it for onboard lighting. You can obviously set it to any color that you want within the software and patterns and all that sort of stuff from within the Gigabyte software. But I think that's a nice touch for us to be able to start with uh, the lighting. Normally I would have turned off the lighting in the room, but I didn't feel like it was worthy on uh, this occasion. Now, I'm gonna do this by hand because it's old school and we are old school and we love a bit of uh, handheld wobbliness. Or would you like me to do it on the... Well, we can try. Anyway, so eight, two eight pins up at the top. Not seeing any um, fan headers yet, but as we come along, you can get your first two up there. So you've got your CPU, CPU optional and then the normal CPU fan there in grey and then our first uh, RGB header there. Then as we come down, 24 pin, there's another fan header there. Come down, now this is a, a USB-C. Now I'm going to assume it says USB DP. So I'm going to assume that is DisplayPort, but I don't know. Uh, <coughs> and then uh, something else that we can see here is another fan header. So we're up to four. And then that two pin thing there is a uh, temperature probe header. You've got your external uh, USB 3.2 Gen 2 for the C connector. You've got another couple of headers there. No idea yet. We do need to save some stuff for the main review. Then slickly moving to the bottom, we've got four SATAs. Uh, might not seem like a lot, but the SATAs are starting to get phased out. And by having less SATAs, it means they can have more USBs around the back because it's all about bandwidth. But something that we do have is uh, a reset switch just there. And I can say that you've got a BIOS or Q flash, they call it, switch here. But I've looked and I've not seen any reference to a, um, a power switch on the board at all, which slightly disappointing, but you know, hey, anyway, uh, we've then got your front panel header here for all your you know, power switch and all that sort of stuff. Four more fans there. So we are now up to eight fan headers. That's quite healthy when you think about it. Don't forget when it does come to fan headers, people think that they have to plug a single fan into each one of these. I always end up using a two or a three fan header to come off of one of these. Um, if I just want to the, all of those fans to run at the same speed. So if I've got three fans in the front and I'm going to want them all to run at the same speed, I would just plug in a PWM splitter. Little bit of advice, never had any issues. And unless you're running crazy amperage fans, I don't think you ever will. Uh, then you've got a couple of internal um, USBs down here. Then you've got a four pin RGB there and then two more addressables. So, so far we've had three addressables because there's one at the top and a single four pin one there. Front panel audio connector. Now, when I pan out just a little bit, I want to show you this little switch here. Now, this switch literally lift it and then this whole section comes off. You've got these captive screws over here where the panel blocks into, but we flip it round and that's where your M.2s are, or at least that's where uh, four of them are because you can put one over the top of your Wi-Fi card here, you can have another one here and two more up here. Then there's another simple clip there, lift, again another, uh, this one's not a captive screw, this one's a little slider, there we go, and that slides in over the top of this one. Now this 
one is for your very hot double-sided um, NVMEs. Uh, we do need to look at the block diagram when we are allowed to find out whether this is going to have any impact on your uh, PCR Express here. But considering that's performance and chipset mumbo jumbo, uh, it's definitely something I'm not allowed to talk about yet. Today is very much about aesthetics and just getting excited about possible new things uh, that might be coming or getting launched in the not too distant future. Uh, I, I am wondering if anyone has noticed the extra uh, covering that I've had to do on this board. Uh, but anyway, um, oh, flipping heck. When it comes to uh, VRMs, we will cover that in the main review uh, when we do proper review, proper breakdown. Like I said, this I have to be very careful. We're just going to talk about uh, aesthetics and stuff. Round the back, uh, USB 2s at the top, then you've got USB 3s, you've got your USB 3.2 um, down here, and you've obviously got a USB C. This one is saying DisplayPort uh, 10G, uh, 5G Ethernet, you've got another USB C uh, 20G here. So this one's twice as fast as this one, although these two are both USB 2 Gen 2, uh, 3.2 Gen 2. Uh, small amount of audio in reality. You can see that you have some uh, capacitors down here and there is a chip there, which if I look on the box, it's going to let me down. I was actually going to try and find out where it said motherboard. Yeah, it doesn't say about audio, audio. There we go. ALC1220. We found it in the end. Anyway, so round the back, as I said, you've also got a display port and a HDMI, and you've also got your uh, Wi Fi outs for that Wi Fi 7 that I spoke to you about before. Now, for those of you out there that like white stuff, is this going to uh, appease? your need for white hardware. Obviously a white PCB is quite a difficult thing to do. I actually quite like the off-white that they've gone with it. Uh, I'm going to risk uh, annoying people when I say that uh, I'm not entirely enthused by this silver. There is quite a lot of aluminium. I did poke at another brand about that. They did not take it very kindly. That I said it was more silver than white. There is a lot of silver on this. But in reality, do you think it matches their graphics card? Now, this is the 4080 Aero. I actually said at the time of doing the review that I wished that this silver backplate was white, and I still stand by that. The little bit round here, eh, again, I would probably attempt to pick this off if I was going to use this in a personal build, or maybe even uh, put some vinyl over the top. You could mod the uh, tops of these heat sinks quite easily for white and maybe an accent colour. Um, but it's obviously going to completely ruin your warranty. Now, would the silver annoy you or would you just run with their version of a white combo like that? I would very much like to know your feedback underneath so I can either temper my expectations or um, maybe... Um, make them a little bit worse and a little bit more aggy. But I think it's a very beautiful and brave place for Gigabyte to go, doing the white. Thank Lord they finally listened uh, and doing it because I know of a rep um, that, and his name should not be spoken because he has decided to leave and it's a great loss to Gigabyte because of it. But I know he's been pushing for this board for years and years and years. So Gigabyte, congratulations, you finally listened. Um, it is very nice. I'm very looking forward to uh, uh, reviewing it when we get the uh, next gen products that shall not be mentioned. But thank you, Gigabyte, for being brave. Thank you, Gigabyte, for actually innovating for a change rather than copying. It's very nice to see and I think that you will do very well. 
But for now, at least, this is Tiny Tom Logan with the Z17, Z790 Aorus Pro X. Finally got a white motherboard out.